Shane McCall reporting live here. It is Thursday afternoon. I'm getting a little drier after a rainy morning. Uh, we've got some Syrian cheese here. This has been, uh, this was homemade with, I believe, uh, my mother, Yuri, Irina, and Cynthia in the old apartment in August of 2017. It's probably been in my mother's fridge for way too long, um, but still quite fresh. Uh, just defrosted it yesterday. I brought it over. We had some extra pita bread from Yasmin and Patterson. Uh, so we're going to have a bit of that. And uh, this is, uh, you're going to want to, uh, after you defrost it, we like to strain it. Uh, sometimes you get the cheese and people just cut it in blocks and just take a bite off of it. And I mean, there's nothing, if you really want to do that, you can just use it directly here. I mean, some, this doesn't always come in a string variety if you get it from the store, but if you're doing it homemade, we can put a link to the old video in the comments there, but you're really going to braid it out and string it. And it's a, it's a bit different of it. It's a more intensive braiding than we get in a mozzarella, but it starts with the same curd. Uh, and this was made, I mentioned, in the uh, it was August 2017. So you're, you're, you try and stick to the, the summer months. I find you get a better milk product there. It is it is a seasonal product. So in the winter months, cheese is going to be a little different. You're going to get a bit, bit of a different of the runoff when you melt down the cheese. And you can do this is make the cat cookies, uh, which we'd have as well. Maybe do that in a future video. Uh, but I'm just stringing it up here. And uh, it's got some uh, black caraway seeds in there. And uh, this bread is a few days old. We left it out on the counter. I think it's still good. Uh, one thing we like to do, uh, grew up on as a kid, is uh, you take some pita bread and um, uh, put the cheese in, put it in the toaster oven, just in a broiler. So let's do a little bit of that. See how that comes out right now and just grab this, this tray right here. Just throw it in and see how quickly we can get that to come out. Um, that is a delight. Uh, but often, just have the cheese by itself is totally fine. And we're just crank up the broiler on there. I hope you don't forget about it. Uh, the cheese by itself, just excellent, good snacking cheese. Have it with some meza, have some hummus, uh, baba ganoush, uh, the hummus dip, and uh, just with the bread itself, it's excellent cheese. Grew up on the stuff. Um, we're gonna maybe have to come back to that broiler. I don't know, maybe I should have broiled it before we started the video. What else is going on here? So, we got these Shallon Ball 99 Ranch, really wasn't a fan of these, and not because they're a vegetable. I mean, the vegetable is fine, it's just like in a rice cooker, your Shallon Ball, you gotta go outside and get it, get it made fresh, like a frozen Shallon Ball, really not gonna do it for you. Really slowly making the way through the monsters here. I don't know what's going on. Um, South Lions I had that earlier in the week. Make sure you act for the hot chili oil if you go to South Lions. Excellent dim sum. Cantonese just is there. Uh, we get the beef chow fun. Um, the uh, turnip cakes with the XO sauce, and then um, a sleeper hit which we just had this time and probably if I haven't been ordering it sooner. The, the fried grouper. They have a number of things. We got the salt and pepper fried grouper. They also do fried grouper with string beans. Uh, that was excellent. And make sure you ask for the uh, La Joyo, just the hot oil chili. And this stuff is delicious. Um, you just pour the chili on directly. Sorry, pour the oil on. But the uh, the chili flakes in there are just a delightful little crunch on your meal as well. Very generous with that. They gave us four of these. Uh, so let's see if this is melting. No, it's going to be a while. Uh, so we'll come back to that. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Um, and uh, I'll get back to braiding this cheese and uh, enjoying it before Emma wakes up from her nap. So have a great afternoon, Thursday, signing off. Bye-bye.